You know, one, one of the misconceptions or even myths about franchise ownership is that it has to be owner operated, meaning you're trying to do both, work in the business and on the business. Hi, I'm Rick Morgan with the Franchise Consulting Company. And for many of those clients, I've prepared information for them that I, I walk through before we look at franchise concepts and, and it covers the different ownership models. Of course, there's an owner operated. But then we go into an ownership model, which is becoming more and more prevalent within franchising, and that's called semi-absentee. And that's where you, you manage a manager. So you've got to find and hire that trusted manager to run the day-to-day. -day. You're managing that point person. Semi-absentee can also apply to someone who wants to own multiple units. And those multiple units are developed over time, three units, maybe over three years, one per year. So you're not there every day, but you're managing this small team of trusted people that can run the three units over the three years, day to day. Then a third ownership model, and this is not very common in franchising. It does apply to a handful, and I'm happy to cover them. It's called investor model. And that's where you pay the franchise company a management fee. It could be 5% of your gross revenue. It could be a, a flat fee of maybe $2,000. And they basically do everything. I mean, everything. Instead of me running down point by point, point let me emphasize they do everything and you take the profits. Of course, you want to validate each one. If you have any questions about ownership models and how it fits with you, I'm happy to talk with you.